A hip fracture is a painful injury that greatly affects a person's mobility and independence. In this video, we will explain your treatment and recovery in KDPH as well as the importance of early planning for your care after discharge. There are two common types of hip fractures, fractured neck or femur and intertrochantric fracture. Surgery involves a hip replacement or screws to hold the bone together depending on the fracture and severity. The operation takes three to four hours. It's the start of a long recovery process that involves doctors, nurses, rehabilitation therapists, and family members. Patients are usually warded for between five and 12 days after the operation and need a lot of help with simple tasks such as going to the toilet because they are at risk of falls. A lot of patients do not like to trouble the nurses, so they eat and drink lesser than they normally would. But they need the goodness in food to help them build up their strength and also drinking plenty of water to prevent bladder infections. We understand this, so please eat and drink normally and don't be shy to ask for help. Rehabilitation depends on the patient's fracture and health, but usually starts with the patient being helped to sit out of bed. Over the days, they gradually progress to using a walking frame guided and supported by a physiotherapist while occupational therapists teach patients daily tasks such as dressing, bathing and advice on equipment to aid recovery after discharge. A case manager will help the family plan the patient's discharge, whether they are going to a community hospital or straight home. This should start as soon as possible after the operation because it usually takes more than a week to get a bed in a community hospital or to prepare the home. How relatives can help Appoint a family member as the patient's primary caregiver who will work with the case manager to plan the discharge. The doctor will advise if the patient is suitable for rehabilitation at a community hospital. It usually takes more than a week to get a bed in a community hospital, so plan early. Ask to speak to a medical social worker if you are worried about the cost of staying in a community hospital.